Okay, here's the thing. Castles are great. Castles in Portugal, even better. But there's so much more to Lisbon than just the castles. Stick around and I'll share with you a few other great ways to experience Lisbon. growing in popularity as a tourist destination, so there's more and more stuff to do. A quick search will show you instantly the things that are the most popular, but there's so much more than just that stuff too. Let's start with something that every dutiful tourist must do anywhere, take a tour. There are the double-decker bus tours, yeah, yeah, but let's muddy the water a little bit. How about a tour in a tiny car? No, not one of those diesel-like things. You know, the go-cars, the, the little yellow things that leave you with bugs in your teeth and smelling like a gas station attendant. No offense to gas station attendants. But a tour in a tiny electric car. The concept here is the same as the go-car. You drive around and points of interest are narrated on a GPS. For any go tours, the most ecological way to discover the city of Lisbon. Get ready to have fun and to be the center of attention. So how is this different? Well, this time, the tiny car is a real car. It goes a normal speed, so no worries about getting on the highway or flowing with traffic or anything like that. Be forewarned though, one of you will be sitting kind of motorcycle-like in the back, legs spread apart. I'm five feet tall and found the ride to be reasonably and surprisingly comfortable, but I'm five feet tall, but I gotta say, I've heard others who are taller than I am say that they found it comfy too. Pam is 5'7 and also found the driver's seat reasonably spaced. But let's be real here. No matter how you slice it, leg room in this car is kind of not a thing. But if you're ready for just a little saddle leg, this is an absolute must do and we loved it. Portugal is very multicultural, but that's not always super obvious. While you're in a tour taking mood, Step outside the regular and try this tour of the African history in Lisbon. This walking tour led by Naki was excellent. He told us about the history of Portugal, took us around to historic sites. We visited the heart of black culture in Lisbon and finished with lunch at a local restaurant whose cuisine originates from two of the African countries with close ties to Portugal. Want to know what countries? Go book the tour. That multicultural history of Lisbon is all up and through its cuisine. Try your hand at making some of that tasting goodness you've been enjoying while you've been in Lisbon. We took a pastry cooking class where we learned to make the ever so tasty and fulfilling pastéis de Belém. And there is a reasonable expectation that I actually almost got that kind of right. We met others from other parts of the country, chatted it up, enjoyed some ginja, that was that cherry liqueur that Portugal is known for, had some coffee, and enjoyed our piping hot pache straight from the oven. That was perfect. I don't think that was Portuguese. I'm not even sure that was English, but it was good. This is a great activity for friends, but you know what? It's also a really cool couples activity too. So there you have it. I've covered at least three days in Lisbon for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Go have some fun and see if you can slide me one of those pastes in the mail. You know, hit me in my DMs. I'll send you my address. I won't really. You want to find out what else we did? Be sure to check out our Lisbon vlogs. Adios. And